Good morning. Say good morning. Tika has car anxiety and she's trying to be calm. She's doing her best, but that's why she's sitting on my lap right now. We're heading out on a little bit of an adventure today. I'd been thinking about doing a solo trip to the island for a while and for some reason I was just putting it off and never booked it. But then Buick reached out and asked if I wanted to borrow a car for a couple days. In my mind, that was the universe telling me to take the trip. So we're heading out. We're gonna do the Sunshine Coast for a couple days. I was debating between Vancouver Island or the Sunshine Coast. They feel kind of similar to me because you take a ferry to both. I was just looking at Airbnbs and I liked some of the options on Sunshine Coast. The original place that I booked, it was a tiny home. It was essentially a shed in someone's backyard, but it was super cute, had a hot tub, fenced in yard, but I woke up to an email saying they had canceled on me this morning. Not the best way to wake up, but they had to cancel because there was a leak in the cabin and it's been raining for days, so understandable. So I was scrambling this morning to find a place for us to stay, but I found a cabin. It's a little bit off grid. I don't think there's Wi-Fi. I didn't really want to stay in an apartment because I wanted it to feel different than from being at home. So that's what's going on. I am not in my car. I'm in the Buick that they lent me. It is a Encore GX Sports Edition 2023. Super spacious. The seats are very comfortable. I've been driving it for about 30 minutes so far and it's really easy to drive. I've noticed it has some cool safety features. When I was driving through this village, a pedestrian came out in front of me and it like warns you and starts slowing down the vehicle. So this is our ride for the trip. We're gonna go catch a ferry pretty soon, but I grabbed some breakfast. This is a ham and cheese English muffin. I also got an oat milk latte and a peanut butter toffee bar that I'm gonna save for later because we're gonna have to wait for the ferry for a while, but little solo adventure. We'll see, see how it goes. We just got to the cabin. I think that's it down there. This is way cuter than I expected. And I actually love that it's raining. Oh my gosh, like look at this. Little patio, you can't really see the ocean right now, but that's literally the ocean right there. And I think there's a path, oops, I just dropped my phone. I think there's a pathway. Do any of you watch Virgin River? Because I feel like Mel from Virgin River, living in this cabin in this small town, and I just have to go find Jack at Jack's bar now. I'm currently trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. Do I go to a restaurant and sit by myself? I just, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere and now I feel comfortable. I don't even want to leave the cabin, but I have to get food. So either I'm going to go to a grocery store and I'll make food here, or I could get takeout, or I go sit alone at a restaurant. I'm going to do some research and make a decision. Hi, can I place an order for pickup? Can I just do, so I'm not looking at the menu. Um, do you have like a, a chicken cashew nut dish? Oh yeah, we do. Cashew nut and I'll do it with rice if it doesn't come with rice. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling, but it's too late now. I just miss you. I just miss you. Such a constellation wreck No, you'd agree Made a reputation for ourselves At age 18 We had the devil on our shoulders Telling us what we should do I wonder if you think about me too I can hear the rain Just miss you 
big spider. I'm gonna get some paper towel. Don't go anywhere. Here it goes. Like, I feel like it's gonna jump. Okay, I overreacted. I got it. I'm sorry. I always feel so bad, but like, not about to shower with you. today which makes me so happy you can actually see the ocean from the cabin i've been to the sunshine coast a couple times before i'm not super familiar with it where we're staying right now is really close to the ferry terminal and this area is called gibson's i was originally going to stay in roberts creek which is like halfway to seashelt from my understanding those are kind of like the three main areas it's like gibson roberts creek seashelt i think we might drive along the coast and hit up all three places. I went into the main area of Gibson's yesterday when I got food um, and it's definitely quite small over here but I think each area has its own things to offer. We went to the beach along here this morning and it's like white sand, it's so nice. But yeah, there's a lot of beaches along the coast obviously. Last time I was here we went to the Gumboot Cafe, which is a popular cafe. I need to grab breakfast somewhere, so we could go there or we could try something different. But I think we'll just do a little mini road trip along the coast and kind of just see what we find. <music> I got breakfast to go because I didn't want to leave Tika in the car, but she honestly would have been fine if I just ate this inside. It started raining again or else I would have eaten. They have like picnic tables outside. I already had coffee this morning, so I got a golden latte, which I'm assuming is turmeric and it's actually really good. I feel like turmeric lattes are hit or miss. For breakfast, I think this was called gumboot granola. This is what it looks like. There's banana, berries, granola, yogurt, and milk. Mmm. And I got a peanut butter ball. Should we do thumbnail teeks? Can we smile? No? Okay. So yeah, Gumboot Cafe. It's a cute little spot. It was all old people in there. I think a lot of retired people live on the Sunshine Coast. It was definitely an older crowd in there. We just walked down, I think it's called the Roberts Creek Pier. It's pretty short and it was windy out there, which is why my hair is all a mess. But yeah, very scenic, kind of like creepy in a way. I don't know why. I feel like I could be in an Agatha Christie uh, like mystery movie or game. I used to play the games. Not that I would want to be in that. I'm like, what do we do now? We really have no plans. I tried getting a cute photo, it didn't really work. What are you doing down there? I might head back. I was thinking about going into Seashelt, but I already ate. I don't want to get another coffee. We went to the beach. We walked the pier. 
I think we'll just drive back. We'll take the scenic route. I just finished reading It Starts With Us, which is Colleen Hoover. It wasn't my favorite one, to be honest. It got like almost too mushy, in my opinion, but I started that book quite a while ago, so I just wanted to get around to actually finishing it. I've been meaning to finish Atomic Habits as well, but I'm gonna leave that for another day. It's 6 p.m. We had a really chill day today. I thought I would get out and like go to more places, but I don't know, it's just been so moody like the weather. I have leftover Thai food from last night, so I think I'm just gonna have that for dinner again. I also have three quarters of this bottle left, so I might just have a little wine night by myself, and I've been hot spotting my laptop to watch Netflix. This Thai food is so spicy. They didn't ask me what level of spice I wanted, they probably just made it hot. sitting here eating dinner, listening to Taylor Swift, right after finishing a Colleen Hoover romance novel. And like I booked this trip in the middle of nowhere by myself. And I'm just like looking out at the ocean, listening to depressing music, drinking my wine. I'm like, what am I doing to myself? out of here in about an hour so i'm just having my coffee and i'm currently looking at flights time to plan another trip i have flight credits that are expiring at the end of this year and i've been meaning to book a trip with these for so long originally i was thinking new york and that's still an option but it would be nice to go somewhere hot especially in like november december my passport is also expiring in february and i know before they used to have this rule where if your passport was going to expire within six months you couldn't travel, but I looked it up and at least the States doesn't have that rule anymore, but I would have to make sure that my passport is fine before going. But I also just want to get this trip done before I go through the renewal process of my passport because it can take up to 20 days to get your passport back unless you do rushed. Um, I don't know the process, but I just think it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. So I kind of want to do this first. I don't know if it's going to be another solo trip. I think it would be more fun to go with someone. Basically, all my friends went to Europe this summer, so they kind of all recently did a big trip. But I just want to do five days or something. That is what I'm doing this morning, but like I said, we're going to check out of here pretty soon. And that kind of concludes the trip. We're just going to take the ferry back home, get the vehicles exchanged, and then back to life. This video is probably going to go up on Monday, so happy Monday. Thanks for watching this video all the way till the end. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want more vlogs, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!